Well, I don't know what can follow that except Don Rickles. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Don Rickles. Chairman, <laughs> just to start off with, Red Fox, you're a black man and you're a credit to your race. Black or white, it doesn't matter to me as long as you don't try to hang around with me. <laughs> now that, right off the bat, now Red knows, now, hey baby, the chairman is in charge. <laughs> the chairman of the Moose Hall is in charge. When the black man wants to stand, he will ask the Jew with courtesy. I feel the same way. <laughs> Doesn't matter. The black men, you can see by the seating, their position. <laughs> hey, why are we getting into a race riot while we're doing a show here? I, the whole audience in the back is going, they're going to be a race riot. Come on, Leroy, let's get in our car and run over a few people. Trying to be entertaining and it turned out to be a word. Sit down, you Italian. <laughs> Gene Kelly just stood up. God bless him. He's a wonderful guy. But singing in the rain is over. <laughs> oh, Gene's a great man. 92 to stand with Frank Sinatra and go, sing in the rain. <laughs> you people see it on camera as I talk to you, and then they go backstage and go, <gasps> Singing in the rain. As Frank keeps going, is the heart working? Is the heart working? Gene, I say to you honestly, and first, I will just say, these are Carol O'Connor's closest friends. <laughs> Carol O'Connor met these people in my trailer an hour ago and said, you really like me? <laughs> but Bob Wood, the president of CBS came here tonight to honor Carol O'Connor. I had hoped a representative, whether it be Dave Tebbett, my dear friend, who couldn't be in here tonight, unfortunately. He's in Greece for their annual Golden Water Festival. <laughs> we got one farmer here from Elko, Nevada, going to Golden War Festival. I'll make you feel at home, sir. No. Dean, from the bottom of my heart, God has been good to you. God has been good to me, but he's been better to you. <laughs> Tonight, we are really getting down to the nitty-gritty. Carol, I tell you, Carol O'Connor, from the bottom of my heart, everything you do on the camera is a lot of baloney. Socially, you have said many times about the Jews, the blacks, the whites, the Puerto Ricans, the Mexicans, that you were fed up with the world. <laughs> and you feel you should have a crown and rule the world. <laughs> and I go along with that because with your money, I need you desperately. I mean that. <laughs> but his great words is Carol, as a graduate of Phi Beta Kappa from Dublin University, from Wyoming University, said to me, if thy love thyself, thy love thee. Thy know this, this thy know. And my lovely wife said, he's brilliant. <laughs> and now my wife is in a state hospital, <laughs> sitting in a hot tub with a duck. I would like you to know also that there are many guests that they have honored. This has been the longest night I've ever had in my life. <laughs> <laughs> 